Hello there. So, um, the problem that you have is that you've eaten away the convexity. So, here is a knife with convexity, which means you have one plane that's from the edge to around here and that's the steeper one and then another plane that's a little shallower that goes from about there to a bit higher and then it's just the Hira of the blade now those two planes, the shallow one and the steeper one near the edge are blended together by a soft stone probably around like something like a 500 would work. Now, the problem is that that convexity there, you deleted it by doing a full face shallow angle. So it's very shallow and now you don't have that steel anymore. The solution for that is creating that plane that's steeper again. And to do that, so if you did your um, thinning at this angle for example you will need to lift your angle a little bit so say you did it at this angle then you lift a little bit and now you have to create um, a bevel at that higher angle now this will take time and inevitably you're gonna lose some hate in the knife because now you have to go back to where the knife is taken off at that distance from the edge right now it doesn't have to be two three millimeters um, it can be about one millimeter half millimeter okay so be sure to be checking and testing the work you're doing that angle I prefer to put it around two thirds of the knife, and I and I leave the front flat or near flat. But that's up to you. That's that's a preference. However, so you create that angle again. Don't bother yourself too much with the left side, because at the end of the day, you don't need convexity on that side, unless you're left-handed, obviously. So what you want is just leave it like that and create a bit of an angle. This will create some asymmetry too, but these knives are originally asymmetric ground anyways. So go at it, create that angle, and once you have that angle, it should look pretty obvious, well defined all, all around. And once you have that thing, you kind of put the pressure instead of really close to the edge so like to create that that, um, that bevel you put your fingers and your pressure basically at the edge now once you're done with that you want to blend and what you do is you move your fingers a little bit higher and put the pressure a bit higher and now blend make sure you do that in a stone that's not too hard because otherwise you can't do a, a, a proper blend and that's the solution to your problem basically but at least the solution I would suggest the other solution is just leave it as is and little by little sharpen like that until it cuts again or as you want but if you're just a home cook that may take years so let me show you an example um, this is one knife that doesn't have much of a um, convexity. Well, I already put a bit on the back, but basically put your fingers down here and this is the angle of the bevel. I can lift just a tiny bit to create that other bevel. Sorry. And you do that as perpendicular to the stone as possible
Now once you're done with that, move your fingers just a tiny bit higher and blend. I am not doing the whole process here by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just kind of showing you what motions you're going to go through 